Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be doing CPU and GPU utility test on Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 while using Adobe Premiere Pro. So without wasting much of the time, let's quickly get into the video. Before getting started with Adobe Premiere Pro, let's quickly turn on the performance bar on Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 by hitting Windows plus G on the keyboard. So as you can see on the screen that we have turned on the performance bar. So let's quickly turn on our Adobe Premiere Pro. The Adobe Premiere Pro that I'm using is of uh, year 2020 and it's a crack version. I have downloaded it from uh, getintopc.com. So I will be mentioning the link to download this uh, software in the description. You guys can click on it and directly download this software. It's totally free. So my Adobe Premiere Pro has been opened and I will be opening an uh, existing project. So this timeline is of 5 minutes and uh, it consists of uh, many 4K videos 60fps as well as uh, 4K videos 30fps. So after opening this project it takes some time to map the media files. So as you can see on the screen that uh, GPU is being utilized up to 30%. It's a max that uh, it will go up to 40% while editing it will not uh, consume lot of uh, GPU it will always be running on uh, CPU itself. I have heard many people saying that uh, while editing uh, GPU is not being uh, utilized properly so it's not the case while editing it will maximum consume up to 40% only. Now here as you can see on the screen that uh, the footages that I have used is of 4K 60fps that I am showing and some footages are of 4K 30fps as well. Almost the footage data size that I am using for this project is around 28GB. Uh, I'll be adding all the details of laptop configuration in the description. You can refer below to know what configuration I'm using on this Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3. Let's quickly have the look on the timeline to know how many layers of audio track and video track I have used in this project. As you can see on the screen that I have used six audio tracks for this timeline and four video tracks where I am using two adjustment layers and uh, one layer is for uh, transition and one layer is for footage. And one more thing to add is uh, while editing 4K 60fps uh, videos, if you add any video effect or uh, transition to that particular video, obviously after adding uh, any video effect or transition everyone will play and check it uh, whether it has been applied properly and whether it's looking good or not. If we play that video then we observe some frame drops and looks like video is chopping and it won't play smoothly while uh, viewing the 4k 60fps video which has been edited or color graded so those who all uh, want the same laptop and are using adobe premiere pro please let me know in the comment section whether you are facing the same issue anyways this issue is only while uh, playing the video in the timeline itself if you render out this uh, issue is not observed in the final uh, video or output that you have been collected in your drive and this issue is not commonly observed this is a rare issue and one more thing uh, if you are editing 1080p videos it's super smooth and you don't even feel that there is any lag or anything it's super smooth only uh, in 4k 60fps and even while editing 4k 30fps it's super smooth you will never observe this kind of uh, issues now let's quickly render this uh, project and check how much of time it uh, takes to render 5 minute 22 second 4k video. Before rendering the video I want to highlight few things. Those are uh, you should turn on this uh, box that is render at maximum depth and you should uh, check whether it's a uh, hardware encoding or not. You should select it to hardware encoding if it's not if it is selected for software. If if you keep it for the software then it will take much more timer because uh, it will only utilize your uh, inbuilt uh, GPU it will not uh, run on the dedicated GPU. Now let's quickly uh, hit on the export button and one more thing to highlight is uh, always uh, plug in your charger while editing or while rendering the video. Let's take this performance bar in the middle so that we can monitor it properly. 
and meanwhile you can see that uh, i have also added the time code on the video so that we can uh, monitor what time exactly it's taking the estimated time that was uh, displayed by adobe premiere pro was for of 5 minutes around 6 minute i guess i'm fast forwarding this video so you can see that while rendering cpu and gpu utilization is going up to 100% and it's been properly utilized even ram and vram are been utilized properly ram is uh, utilized up to 70% and vram is uh, utilized up to 60% vram is the ram of uh, gpu that is of 4 gb and ram that is of uh, 16 gb here i have been upgraded my ram from 8 gb to 16 gb i will mention the link in the i button to check out how to install uh, another 8 gigs of uh, ram stick and now the rendering part has been completed and uh, the adobe premiere pro which was giving the estimated time was of uh, 5 minutes and uh, it has been completed in 12 minutes 24 seconds as you can see on the time code rendering 4k project that is of duration 5 minute 22 second in just 12 minute 24 seconds it's just a great job that has been done by this laptop so i think this is the one of the bestest laptop for video editing and graphic designing as well as uh, 3d rendering i agree that uh, this laptop has uh, less battery backup but meanwhile the performance wise this laptop is outstanding i guess i have also uploaded this cinematic edited video in the youtube i'll be mentioning the link of the video in the i button you can directly click on that uh, link and uh, check out the video so that's it for this video guys i hope you have liked this video and found this video informative if you found this video informative do hit a like button and subscribe to my channel thank you take care bye bye